Potassium, one of the three macronutrients that we deal with on a regular basis in agriculture systems. It's macro because it's taken up in one of the largest quantities and is used in plant tissue. Potassium is important in the plant because it's used in the stomata. The stomata are those openings on the leaves that help control moisture. So if we have a potassium deficiency in season during a drought stress, the plant can't control the moisture regulation as well as it could if it had been well fertilized with potassium or had enough potassium. K, a positive cation, is bound to the soil. That soil is negatively charged. And so those opposite charges attract. It's also on, so it's immobile in our, most of our soils in our native concentrations or our soils, they're naturally relatively high or well endowed with potassium. And so if you look at our Magruder plots that have been going for over 125 years, it took over 110 years of crop production before we saw our first K deficiency or response to potassium fertilizer develop in those crops. We have a soil that is naturally high in potassium and we have a crop system wheat, which doesn't really remove a lot of potassium. So over the years, K has not been one of the most uh, needed nutrients in our state, although it's very important. We'll find K deficient in soils that are well drained and highly weathered, so eastern Oklahoma, because weathering will break this K off of the soil particle and will move it down in the soil profile where the plants can't get to it and also regions that have high biomass production. So same thing, Eastern Oklahoma, with high rainfall, you're gonna have high uptake of K in the plants and removed off site. Also our irrigated soils out west that are growing forage production and, and, and a lot of biomass. And also in sands where we don't have enough soil uh, ability to hold to the potassium and so it leaches more. K is easily managed with a product called uh, potassium chloride or potash. It comes in as 0060. It is actually a KCL, which is benefit because chloride is also one of our plant essential nutrients. And so the addition of potassium will add chloride and chloride tends to be deficient in sandy, well-drained soils, the same kind of soils that we see potassium in. If you want to learn more about potassium, Go watch some of my soil fertility lectures. Those links are available on the SUNUP website, sunup.okstate.edu.